I don't think the question needs to be what we like about it. It's more like what kind of feeling it gives us. It's the same as if you would ask me what I like about hardstyle. I like all kinds of music. Like I like to listen to UK hardcore when I work out. When I'm feeling a little bit crazy, it's dubstep. Every time I want to connect with people, every time it's that passion and that dedication, that is hardstyle. It is always hardstyle. Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. I know I can count on you. Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care. But you've got the love I need to see me through. always been looking for an adventure and Intense Festival for me is an adventure that changes every year. They're always doing crazy shit. Sit downs, hands to the left, hands to the right, mosh pits. Everyone sings along and goes crazy through every track I play. And you're standing there in the DJ booth and you see a sea of people dancing in unity all together. That is what seems like a work of art. about Intense Festival? Everything. Things that really attract me at Intense Festival every year are the people and, and the vibe. You can really see that people are not coming just for one genre. They are coming for hardcore, hard style, freestyle, you know, everything. You know, they are really open-minded. And this is only 1% of the good things that I could say about this festival. Now it is time to play.
my opinion, I, I think the organization uh, really thinks deeply into the concept they do every year. Because for some people, uh, every festival is, is like some kind of sport or, or a hobby. You know, they sweat, they party, they dancing, like having a good time. They, they, they keep going with their friends, they like a team, you know, 12 hours non-stop party. That's heavy. It's like some mad motherfuckers moving on. And have you, have you seen the raw stage with like a big box ring and an MMA cage behind it? Dancers who are dressed up like uh, referees with, with globes on and, and yeah, it, it was sick, it was really sick. So you could ask yourself the question, do you want to fight? Then go to the raw stage. You want to check out the Olympic Games in Rio? No, you don't have to, just go to the main stage. You know, there are so many different choices for everybody there. That's what home feels like. We are all together. We are all one. We are all one family. And that's intense. surprised me was the main stage at night. I mean, come on, just look at this thing. I've never played at a stage where I had the feeling that I was inside of a stadium while it wasn't a real one. I'm out in the heat to challenge my rival. Revenge made me sweet and back for survival. My heart's in control, my mind's on succeed. Eyes on the prize, I will take the lead. I enter the corner the same way I exit. You won't stop me now, I've got too much invested. I'm ready to aim, the crowd yells my name. The pride and the fame, it's all in the game. The level of design and special effects are just insane. And hearing your own anthem at the end show, I remember looking at Frey crew looking at me and saying like, can it get any better than this? I'm ready to aim, the crowd yells my name, the pride and the fame, it's all in the game.
looks epic, but the feeling you get when you're standing there with 40,000 people with a sound system that shakes your heart on every beat. I mean, with all due respect to the film crew, but that's a feeling even the best cinematographers can't capture.